Hello and welcome, it's Jilly Cube. I am uh, acrylic pouring today on a 60 by 90 canvas and I'm going for a multi-technique pour. So it's adding uh, a few different techniques to one um, particular piece of art creation. So, and now I can disclose to you guys I have actually been using my pouring medium for quite a few months but it wasn't available because we've been going through you know um, what works and what doesn't work but now I can reveal it and I'm so excited I've been using my keep it simple global colors pouring medium so keep it simple which I'm calling kiss for short and it's the new pouring medium that you can use without adding any silicone <laughs> even my gecko likes it you do not have to add silicone and you do not have to add flow troll to your paint it it's i um it, it sort of a, uh, looks a little bit uh cre off whitish but i can assure you it dries completely clear the paints dry really nice and vibrant and it's i've just used all the different techniques in this over the last i don't know maybe six months and um been testing it out testing it out on most of the videos that you do see it's this keep it simple pouring medium um, and now it is available and the link will be below in my description box and i'll add it if i remember to my um first comment pin comment but yeah it is you do dilute it uh, still at a 70 30 ratio so you get so much more pouring medium than you actually you know buy so obviously you're getting um, with your dilution of seven 70 percent pouring medium and add an extra 30 percent I just add some warm water and it's uh, it's just been a game changer it's created fantastic cells without silicon or flow trial and super duper happy with it and it works different um, like if you do not want cells and then you I create like a thinner mix and actually the thicker mix seems to create more cells for me but it's all trial and error in your own particular art but I'm so excited for this it's a game changer see it's got a little picture of my art there well keep it simple kiss what perfect perfect name hey radio let's get going all of these paints that i'm working with have been mixed with my new pouring medium so i'm going to um get on to doing the background first on the 60 by 30 canvas and i'm doing a background just in white and black so so this will be my first um, technique so as I said I'm doing a multi technique so this is the black uh, when you click on the link for the global colors and you look for the keep it simple pouring medium if there's anything that you can't find that you're looking for if you can't you know there's all the global colors there that i use too and there will be some more colors coming up um it's just ask it says you know uh, you can talk to a friendly online uh, member so just ask for sure you know you don't have to um, talk ask me back you've got to ask the site so I'm just now I'm getting carried away with the black and I'm thinking what am I doing because this is going to come out all black so I'm going to give it a good squeeze of my white wow I can already see the cells popping up in this particular mix and like I said it's all mixed just with that pouring medium And you can do every technique of your little heart desires which is super duper cool super duper cool that you can get all the different techniques with it so I'm just giving this one stir 
because I, I want it to be like a marble effect, I kind of guess, as my background. Actually, we shouldn't have wiped that down the side then, but I did. Ooh, okay, I'm getting too excited now. Wow, it'll be kind of a marble background, and then I'm gonna add some jilly vibrancy to it. Radio, let's do this flip and lip. But it's come this lovely kind of dusty grey, which is nice. But it will look very much, hopefully, like a marble bench top background, which is I've got on my plan to renovate a table that I have in my little cabin, and I'm going to do this kind of flip on the um, top, so I get like a marble effect on it, which will be gorgeous. Okay, so now it's time for just a gentle tilt. Probably would have been better for me to just put mostly white and a little vein of the black, but that actually, I think it's gonna look quite nice with bright colors. So just tilt it, take your time, don't rush. I've got to slow myself down. Oh, look at that lovely effect so simple and yet you can get it to look like yeah look like a marble effect i've done this loads of times before with the flip cups or as a background and done other things over the top so it's nothing new there is actually nothing new in acrylic pouring it's all been done before oh look at that i mean somebody that wants those just very monochromatic colors that's perfect and that's actually gorgeous look at that just make sure you recenter it tilt the paint back to the center so you're not left with the paint all at one particular end or the other that is gorgeous oh, silly duffer things flicking me paint all on it i'm gonna give it a quick go over with my heat wand I must one day do a, just a huge canvas with these flip cups in two colours only or monochromatic looking and tilt it because it, on a huge canvas I reckon it would be so effective. Rightio, I do want to, I think I'm going to stick with my green tones in here again and I think I will do like V effect in it here and a V effect there and the same here. Ooh. Trying to do a little bit different um, composition to your work. It's always good fun to try something different. So that's oh, and now for some turquoise. And I have found, um, even though I definitely love using my um, global colours, which I do all the time, I have found that the pouring medium does work with other paints um, that I've used. I've used, tried it with Montmartre, I've tried mixing it with the... I even um, last week mixed it with some pigment and um, did the flip cup the same sort of thing and that turned out beautiful too so super happy with that i'm going to go back and put some i did this kind of colors in a, a different pour that i did this is the um oh what do you call it the, the cool red it was like a brilliant red probably should just keep it to these colors shouldn't i I know I always go overboard with my colours, but I think on that background it can actually um, definitely take it. I was going to put orange in it, but I'm not. I'm going to put a bit of purple. 
myself. I could actually add some black to that to make it go, no I won't, to make it go more of my berry delicious, which is quite nice too. So, you know, have a go with your colours, try, you know, mixing it up, it's always good fun. Right, I think I better stop there. Somebody slap my hands, oh my goodness. Always get carried away and put too much on it. And you have to be careful because, I'll just put myself a big streak of paint across my face, um, because, if you leave too much paint on your canvas, it, it can crack if it doesn't absorb into the canvas. But I want to show you one. I think you will have seen the video. If you haven't, have a look for it. I'll show you this one. It's all dry now. I'm waiting to see. That was with the flip cup background, the same in the just with the Viridian green and white. And then I added those in and this was inspired just by seeing Olga Solvi's um, like I said I've done it before but I needed inspiration her video came up in my feed and she does such lovely work so I thought oh inspired thank you Olga oh, Olga Sobe um, for giving me the inspiration again to do the, the multi-technique background so, a whiz over with the heat wand, it just disperses any air bubbles. Oh, I really am enjoying that, that kind of background on its own, the flip cup as a background, and the, the sort of um, the marble look to it, it's, it's wonderful. Rightio, now do I blow out? I think I'll go half and half. Okay, let's give it a go. Wow. Oh, there's a lot of paint there. That's a worry. See, there's a lot of paint sitting there. Oh, now I'm a bit worried about that. See how much paint sitting there? Very pretty though. Wow, wow, wow. I think it gels quite nicely together. And I could use, I could blow out some separate areas. I'm going to um, think a lot of, I think Olby and a lot of the other artists use their finger to put, to separate some of the areas so it looks, you know, more leafy. But I just think I'll stick my big fat finger in there and it's not really going to do it any justice, I wouldn't have thought. So I'm going to kind of um, edit it with this chopstick thing. So having a chopstick in your toolkit for acrylic art is um, a good thing, I find. So just play with it how you choose. Let it be your, you don't have to do what somebody else, exactly what somebody else did. Let it, um, your creativity flow and play with it until you're happy with it. And remember, if you're not, it is only paint. Don't stress over it. Remember, it's your art, your rules, your way. How come the trees get sunrise when it's cold? And don't think that's the least. Oh, no. I am so hoping that this dries beautifully because it is gorgeous wow that's kind of it's like a, the title that jumps out to me for this is it's complicated <laughs> so there you go i'm calling this one it's complicated as is life
Love it, love it. I'm gonna whiz it. Love it, love it, love it. Wow, I do love that. Uh, the, the other one that I was showing you, this one, did actually feel quite chunky, thick too, but it's dried beautifully, it hasn't cracked, and it's dried quite shiny. So I am really, really hoping that dries it. Oh, I'm a bit out of Teb there, aren't I? Sorry about that, guys. There you go. Um, I see it's not overloaded with cells, just got a few nice lacy, a little bit of laciness. So that's the beauty of this new pouring medium. It can create lots of cells and it can also create less. So it's, um, it's a winner winner chicken dinner, I say. So my lovelies, I hope you enjoyed that. Hope I give you a little bit of joy. Um, and if you are feeling a little bit off tether, sad, lonely, depressed, please, please, please ring a family member or a friend, or definitely there is a helpline there to help each and every one of us if we need. So please seek help, don't suffer in silence. Thinking of you guys, and thank you all so much for your continued support, always. I appreciate you so much more than you will ever know all right my lovelies bye for now watch out for the photos at the end how come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds maybe it's just like me a little bit scared of heights why does the rain always keep it's gray outside It really makes me wonder Ooh.